Hello friends, this video on redox reaction part 18 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So we have one more question. It says that Mn3 plus is an unstable in solution. And it undergoes disproportionation to gives Mn plus 2 and MnO2. MnO2 will be to have a plus 4, right? Mn plus 2 and Mn plus 4 and S plus ions. We have to write the balanced ionic equation for this reaction. So it says that I have Mn3 plus, it gives Mn2 plus, also you get MnO2 that is plus 4 and H plus ions. It's acidic, right? Just as acidic. So instead of telling H plus ions, we could have told this acidic, both are same. We have to write the balanced ionic equation for this reaction. So let me try with a split method. So let me split this guy. So this one reaction is Mn3 plus gives Mn2 plus and the other reaction is Mn3 plus give you MnO2 right and let's let's write this let's let's take the first equation Mn3 plus gives Mn2 plus let's try to balance so the formula we have is split AC split already done let's balance atom atom is already balanced let's balance charge this is 3 this is 2 so we'll have add one electron here so this is balanced let's take the second one Right. Second one is Mn3 plus gives MnO2. Let's balance this. Let's change color. So first balance atom, we have Mn, Mn balanced. Oxygen, we have two here. There is no oxygen here. Right. So we can add uh, two oxygen, two water molecules to balance oxygen. Oxygen is balanced. What about hydrogen? We have four hydrogen. We have no hydrogen here. So let's add four hydrogen here. What about charge? So we have three charge here, we have four charge here, right? So we'll add one electron here to balance the charge. So everything is balanced now. Now if you see, this has one electron, this has one electron. If you just add these two elect uh, equations, you have, you should get the balanced equations. So if you see, there are two Mn here, this and this, you add, you get two Mn3 plus electron, electron cancel plus 2 water gives you Mn2 plus plus MnO2 plus 4H plus. So if you see here, please note, a lot of students what they do is they write only 1 Mn3 plus, but it has to be 2 because there are 2 Mn3 plus you are adding, it has to be 2 Mn3 plus, right? So this is the balanced reaction. So please note here it is 2 Mn3 plus. The question says chlorine is uh, used to purify drinking water but excess of chlorine is harmful and the excess of chlorine is removed by treating it with, with sulfur dioxide and you have to find the balance equation for this. So the question says chlorine is removed using sulfur dioxide and its water is also there in this right because we are cleaning water so this gives Cl minus plus SO4 2 minus and we have to write a balanced uh, reaction for this. So we have used this uh, split AC. So let's plus split this. The first reaction I have is Cl2 gives Cl minus. And the second is I have is SO2 gives SO4 to minus. Water and other things will be taken care. Right? This is my reaction. So let's take the first reaction. Cl2 gives two gives Cl minus. So with the formula split AC, split is done. A balance atoms. So we have two chlorine, we have one chlorine, add two here, atom is balanced. Charge, we have negative two charge, we have zero charge here, so we'll have two E minus here. This equation is balanced. Correct. Let's take the second one. Second one I have SO2 gives SO4 minus, SO4 2 minus. Let's balance this. So Atom, sulfur is same, oxygen we have 4, oxygen we have 2, so let's add 2 water molecules here, oxygen is balanced. What about hydrogen? Hydrogen we have 4 here, we have 0 here, so let's add 4H+. plus. What about um, oxygen, hydrogen, sulfur, everything is balanced. So let's balance charge now. So charge we have 4 minus 2, it's 2 charge here, and here we have 0 charge. 
So let's add two electron here to balance the charge. So this equation is balanced. Now if you see this equation has two electron, this has two electron. We can just add these to add equations, right? So if we add these two equations, what you get is this will get cancelled. What you get is Cl2 plus SO2 plus two water molecules will give you two Cl minus plus SO42 minus plus 4H plus. And that is my answer. Correct. So this is more of stoichiometry question. If you see this question say in Ostwald process of manufacturing of nitric acid, the first place involved oxidation of ammonia gas by oxygen. That is, you have NS3, you add oxygen to it, it will oxidize to form NO and and steam. That is what. What is the maximum weight of nitric acid obtained? So the first thing I think you can have you can do is you can balance this. You can balance this reaction with the method which I have just explained, right? And then the, the balance reaction will be uh, four, five, four. In the interest of time, I'm just using a balance reaction. The question says, what is the maximum weight of nitric acid that can be obtained, starting with 100 gram, 10 gram of ammonia and 20 gram of oxygen? So in this, this is more of a question of limiting reagent because out of 20 and 10 gram, one will get consumed first. The one will get consumed first will decide the amount of NO, right? So NS3, if you find the atomic mass, the atomic mass of NS3 is 68 for oxygen, sorry, 17, 14 plus 3, 17. For oxygen, it is 32. For NO, 16 plus 14, 30. For water, it is 18 gram. This is the atomic mass. That means 17 grams into 4, that is this equation I can write as 17 to 4 is 68 grams of NS3 plus 32 into 5 that is 160 grams of oxygen will give you 4 into 3 120 grams of NO plus this water no. right so now if you see I have how many grams of ammonia 10 grams if 68 grams of uh, ammonia needs 160 grams of oxygen then 10 grams of ammonia will need how much 160 by 68 into 10 oxygen right and that is how much needs this much oxygen and that is not nothing but if you saw this that 23.52 grams of oxygen so to use consume all 10 grams of ammonia we need 25 23 grams of oxygen but how much oxygen i have only 20 grams that means oxygen is a limiting reagent oxygen will get consumed first right so that means our volume or, or, or uh, uh, the grams of the quantity of NO, the nitric oxide will depend on the oxygen. So let's take this equation now. It says that 160 gram of oxygen gives you 120 grams of NO. Correct. So if 160 grams of oxygen gives you 120 grams of NO, 20 grams of oxygen will give you how much grams of nitric oxide? 120 by 160 into 20 grams of nitric oxide. So if you solve this, you get 15 grams of nitric oxide. Pretty easy. This was not a question of balancing, but was question of implementation of balancing of equation because we got this from data, right? From balancing only. Once we got the balanced equation, we got this data. And to balance, we have already learned two steps, two methods how to balance the equation. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.